So now that you have assets loaded into your library, the next step is to create a playlist of those assets. Now the playlist is what will get assigned to your media player, whether it's a Zogo Mini or your own Windows or Android device, so that your player knows what content to play and for how long. So to get started, we'll click plus new, and then we're gonna give our playlist a name. We'll call this demo playlist. And then we're just gonna click to add some assets. Now you see in the bottom left-hand corner, whether the file is a uh, graphic or a video, just based on the thumbnail. And we're gonna go ahead and add, uh, let's add three graphics and a video in here. So we're just gonna click the first three in the list. We have a video in the lower left-hand corner here. All right, and now we have the option to schedule these items. Um, now, if we wanted to, we could untick one of the boxes so that certain content would only play on certain days of the week, but we're gonna go ahead and leave it simple and just leave all of these playing 24 seven. Next, we have the ability to schedule how long we want each item on screen. Um, so as you'll see, we can schedule items to be hidden or play for 15, 30, 45, or 60 seconds by default. So let's set our graphics to be 15 seconds each. Now on the video, uh, videos can either be hidden or visible. Of course, they will play in their full duration if you leave them uh, visible. So let's actually leave the video visible and we'll make one of the graphics hidden. And that's something we'll touch on a little bit later in a real-time mode video. Um, but as it stands, you'll see uh, the two graphics uh, will play for 15 seconds each. Then you'll see the video play through. It also happens to be 15 seconds. Then we'll have a hidden item that we'll touch on later in real-time mode that you can pull up from your phone, tablet, or PC. So now we have a playlist and the next thing that we'll do in the next video is to add our players.